Reform Devotion number 10 of 365, When God's Word is Hidden in Your Heart, by Thomas Manton. Your word I have hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. Psalm 119, verses 11 and 12. When the word is hidden in your heart, it is a great relief against temptations to have the word ready. The word is called the sword of the spirit, Ephesians 6:17. In spiritual conflicts, there is nothing like this. Those that ride abroad in time of danger will not be without a sword. We are in danger and better have the sword of the Spirit in hand. The more ready the Scripture is with us, the greater our advantage is in conflicts and temptations. When the devil came to assault Christ, he had Scripture ready for him, whereby he overcame the tempter. The door is barred upon Satan, and he cannot find such easy entrance when the word is hidden in our hearts and made use of pertinently. 1 John 2.14 I write to you, young men, because ye are strong. Where lies their strength? And the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. Oh, it is a great advantage when we have the word not only by us, but in us, engrafted in the heart. When it is present with us, we are more able to resist the assaults of Satan. Either a man forgets the word or has lost his affection for it before he can be drawn to sin. The word of God, when it has gotten into the heart, it will furnish us with timely thoughts. When the word is hidden in your heart, it is a great relief in troubles and afflictions. Our faintings come from ignorance or our forgetfulness. Hebrews 12:5. Ye have forgotten the consolation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. If we had a herb growing in our gardens that would ease our pains, are we better off if we do not know it? There is no malady that does not have its remedy in the word. To have a comfort ready is a great relief. When the word is hidden in your heart, it makes our discussion and conversation with others more gracious. Matthew 12, 34. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. When we have a great deal of hidden treasure in the soul, it will get out at the tongue, for there is a quick intercourse between the heart and the tongue. The tap runs according to the liquor with which the vessel is filled. Come to men of an unsavory spirit, pierce them, broach them, give them occasion again and again for discourse, and you get nothing but frothy communication from them and vain talk. But now a man that has filled his heart with the word is always interposing for God. Like a bottle filled with wine, he must have vent. As the spouse's lips are said to drop as honeycombs, they are always putting forth agreeable expressions in their converse with others. Colossians 3.16, Let the word of God dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. It will burst out presently if the word of God dwells in your hearts.